all right sup guys welcome back to the channel i'm trice too easy happy saturday we're gonna go ahead and get into this nba slate we'll look at the charts the matchups the trends the data the discrepancies hopefully find an edge hopefully crack these folks guys if you would like to join my sports community and discord server it's in the pinned comment and in the description of the video 10 measly ass dollars a month we have fun we share slips we talk sports we crack these folks and if you want exclusive access to viewer perks and tools i use daily like smart steak and outlier they're in the pinned comment and in the description of the video as well okay guys i do owe y'all a giveaway i went five wins seven losses so i do need to do a 50 dollar giveaway I'm going to do it tomorrow in my video for Sunday football because today is my daughter's birthday party, so I have to get through this quickly. I'm not going to review yesterday. I went five wins, seven losses. I'm not going to do a bad beat or a big winner. I'm just going to get right into the props, right into the smart money, go through the slate, and then I got to get out here and get things prepped for all the family who's coming over and everything like that. So I just don't have time today. I always do my giveaways. Anybody will vouch for me. Sorry, I can't do it today. I'll do it tomorrow. Sundays, I don't do anything. I have nothing going on. I'll wake up, and before I start the football video, I'll go ahead and do the giveaway then. So, And I will still pick from the video from yesterday. So everybody who commented, you'll still be entered. Nothing changes. It's just pushed back one day. I apologize nothing i can do i gotta hurry okay uh so no review no bad beat no big winner today it's just got to get through this let's just get straight into the player props and the first one that i'm eyeballing if i could get it pulled up here is kevin porter jr under 11 and a half rebounds and assists now he is coming off a huge day with 16 versus 76ers uh, which was surprising because they only scored 101 points and he popped off that said, by far and large, the guy hasn't been coming near this number. Head to head, he doesn't have the greatest stats versus the Pistons. And I think the Pistons will make it due to the fact that they control the glass so well and they D so well. I think it's going to make it a lot harder for him to hit his rebound and assist line. So I like his under today. Next, Duncan Robinson points and assist over 12 and a half. I'm heavily, heavily eyeballing this play. Would highly suggest looking at it. It's been bouncing between 13 and 12. Uh, I would try to get this over 12 and a half line head to head. Great history. Last two times he saw the Bucks, he got 18. He's been grabbing a lot more boards and getting more points. He, he's, he's just been going nuts. I'll be shocked if he can't hit this today. Now, let's look at Smart Stake and see where the big dogs are putting their props today. These are the guys who are limited on the rec books. This is sharp money. This is where the big dogs put their bucks today. First one, uh, Jeremiah Fears under three and a half assists. 1.7k at plus money jalen johnson under eight and a half assists 1.7k even money cooper flag under six and a half boards versus the rockets i actually do like it even though he's playing a lot better uh 1.7k danny wolf under five and a half rebounds and Najee marshall under five and a half rebounds they are all over rebounds today for some reason but that's where the sharps are putting their money this is smart stake smart money tool in the pin comment description you can do a free trial okay Let's go ahead, get right into this slate. I'm going to kind of speed through this, give you guys my picks. Hopefully, we get a bag. Hopefully, we crack these folks. I am extremely pressed for time. Let's get it. First game, Pelicans versus the Nets. Uh, battle of the heavyweight, battle of the bombs championship matchup right here. These guys suck. Uh, that said, the Nets have been paying us a lot. On the flip side, so have the Pelicans. What do you do here? um pelicans arrested coming in to brooklyn what what to do what to do um guys I, i'm these teams are pretty much identical both are pretty terrible both are bottom of the bucket on offense and defense i think the nets have a nice defensive advantage and lately with how they've been playing i think their offense is is just as good if not better than the pelicans defense um I do worry about them getting rebounds, but the Nets have been paying a lot of people. A lot of people are high on the Nets right now. Went plus 117, dropped down around midnight to like minus 116. All morning, it's been kind of stagnant. Now it's pushing back up, going near that plus 100. Really ain't getting much from this chart at all. Nothing to really go um, go off of or get a read from. Uh, all I can say is the Nets are taking like 80% of the money. Just want to follow it. Seems like more sharp money's on the Nets as well, but I'm not going to take the spread. I just want, I'm just going to take the Nets straight up on the money line. You can get a 150 on the exchanges, minus 150. Just give me the Nets straight up on the money line at home. I think they're a better team than the Pelicans, and I'm just going to hope I cash a free money line bet. Next game Hawks, Wizards. Um, guys, this is the only game on the slate I actually chose to fade. Uh, believe it or not, I just I don't think the Hawks can cover a 10, but I worry about the Wizards covering a nine and a half as well. Um, Hawks do have a lot of advantages here, but the offensive advantage is it's 
it's not massive and neither is the defensive advantage. Like neither, neither of them are, are huge. Um, and I do think the wizards can score some points. I, I kind of like the over here, thought about the over thought about the wizards to cover at home. Cause the Hawks just haven't been great lately, but I, I just don't like the chart. Didn't like the money. Couldn't get a good read on this one. I, I really don't know. I chose to fade. This is the only game. I'm not going to be putting any capital on. Looking at the chart, I mean, look at this. It's just stale as it gets. A little bit of action this morning, went up one cent. I mean, we're just getting nothing, and the sharp money's all over the place. I just couldn't get a read anywhere. I tried and checked every place. I had to come to a fade. If you want to lean, I lean the Wizards plus the points. Next game, Bucks, Pistons. Um, This one's interesting. You got the Pistons' fifth defense. Bucks' offense is 19th, but they're number one in three, and the Pistons don't defend a three-point ball that well. Maybe the Bucs could score a lot of points and get hot. Um, Pistons offense, Bucks defense, I think the Pistons will score just fine. I think they'll shoot the ball well. Um, guys, I, I like this to be a fast-paced, competitive game. Lots of fouls, lots of scoring. I like the over 224 and a half. I think it's too low. Don't want to be on either of these teams. 12 and a half is a lot of fucking points, even for the Pistons. Like, that's a lot of points. Bucks are ass, but are they are they giggle, mega ass? Or are they just ass? 12 and a half is a lot. That's like ridiculous. I can't get there. I like this over. I like the over a lot. Give me the over 224 and a half. Looking at the chart for the Pistons, minus 12 and a half. It was around 107, minus 107, 109, 108. Sorry, 109, 110 uh, this morning at midnight and on. 5 a.m. No, started shooting up. Uh, big money came in, pushed it up to about plus 100. Dropped down again. And now we're currently sitting at about minus 105. Uh, so all, all things considered, it's really only moved a few cents. Not much we're getting from the chart. I, I like the over. I think this game's high scoring. Next game, Warriors versus the Cavs. These Cavs been hooping, man. They've really been hooping. Um, when I took a look at this one, kind of struggled here. I mean, these teams are relatively even. Cavs offense, Warriors defense should compete very hard. As far as the Cavs defense versus the Warriors offense, there is an advantage there, but it's not massive. Um, and the Warriors, you know they're as janky as they are, they continue to do okay. Like they continue to kind of just hang in there, stay 500, cover some spreads. Like I don't mind putting money on them. Uh, but what got me was the chart guys. The Cavs are taking literally, I think these Cavs were taking like what percent of the money were they getting? They're getting, they're getting major, majority of the money going to the Cavs, but yet the chart is, like this morning, it shot up to 108, then it went to 106, now it's at 104, and it continues to get better to bet the Warriors. I don't like fading it's game day movement getting worse. I'm going to go ahead and take the Warriors plus the seven and a half. It's not my favorite play. I'm just kind of following the money here. Next game, Kings versus the Heat. Uh, this one's kind of tough too. Um, Fought with it for a while. Heat though, they are they're very good. The Heat is an impressive team, man. They're scoring on everybody. Uh, second in scoring in the whole league. Defense isn't great, but it's still better than the Kings' shitty offense. And they're at home, and it's Saturday night in Miami. I do think that the Heat can cover this 8.5 for sure, I do. Um, what I do worry about, though, is the Kings' three-point defense is really good, and that's where the Heat tend when the Heat tend to cover spreads, they tend to be on fire from the three versus teams who don't defend it well. Kings are one of the best teams at defending the three, so I do worry, but I think that's what keeps it from being a massive blowout, not from covering the eight and a half. Going to roll with the Heat, minus the eight and a half. Looking at the chart, around midnight, 1 a.m., it was at plus 102, plus 101. As of this morning, it's dropped down to about minus 102, minus 103. Only a few cents of movement, but at least it's trending downwards in the right direction. Good sign if you're back in the Heat. Next game, Clippers, Timberwolves. Man, this is tough. Uh, we've pretty much faded the Clippers any chance we get just because we know they're gambling and mob-owned. Uh, Tyron Lue is clearly gam... I, I say it every video. It's getting old. Uh, look, Clippers uh, scoring offense 26. Timberwolves defense 11th. They're very good. Timberwolves offense 5th. Clippers defense 22nd. Massive, massive advantage everywhere for the Timberwolves. The Timberwolves have been ass. They've been ass. These boys have not been performing. They haven't been beating anybody, haven't been covering any spreads, haven't been even beating up on the bad teams. They do not look good. Looking at the at the chart for 10 and a half, I mean, since midnight, 102 dropped down to 104. And this morning, massive money came in, shot it to 102, then to 104, now to 106. I mean, the price just keeps getting worse. 
uh, or keeps getting better to back the Timberwolves. It's a bad sign. It means big money's coming in on these Clippers. And I, I kind of agree. I don't trust the Timberwolves to cover this. Price is charts going completely against them, which means the Clippers is getting worse. I'm going to bet the Clippers sooner than later. Give me the Clippers plus the 10 and a half points. Next and final game of the night, Rockets versus the Mavs. Um, guys, this was another one where, hold on, there was one game I wanted to tell you about. Oh, yeah, by the way, on that Timberwolves game, guys, another thing I wanted to talk about, they're taking, uh, what percent? 75% of the money in the charts, getting the price is getting better. 75% of the money, and since 6 a.m., this thing's gone up almost 10 cents. 75% of the money. This should never happen, ever. Never, ever should this happen. Almost want to label this a Vegas trap spot. It's a clipper spot tonight, guys. Be cautious if you're betting them Timberwolves. Anyways, Rockets in the Mavs, final game of the night. Obviously, Rockets, much better team, one of the best teams in the league and massive advantages in every category. So, what do you do? Well, taking taking a look at this one, guys, kind of where my head is at, I, I'm thinking... It came down to the money for me. This is not my favorite play. I'm going to roll with the Mavs plus the eight and a half points. Guys, this chart, it just, it, again, it just doesn't make sense. The, the, uh, mind you, the Rockets are only taking 1% more money, which is also weird. You'd think the Rockets would be getting just blew up with capital, but they're not. The money is almost split. Went from minus 133 to minus 117. Then this morning again around 8 a.m., massive buy came in again, took it to minus 108. Now we're not, we're up to minus 106 from a minus 117 at 1 a.m. all the way to a minus 106 around 9 a.m. This is mass. I mean, the chart is just moving heavily against these rockets, and the Mavs have to be getting all the sharp money for this to happen. I'm going to roll with the Mavs plus the eight and a half points. I have to. All right, guys, that's all for me today. Hope y'all enjoyed. I'm sorry about the giveaway. I will do it first thing tomorrow morning. I'm just in a hurry. Couldn't even do the full show today. Tomorrow morning, check in for the NFL video. I'll get the giveaway done. Let's get out of here. Let's get an absolute bag today, and let's crack these folks.